Magandang araw! Ngayon ay nasa week 2 na tayo ng Mathematics 6 with Most Essential Learning Competency, Multiply, Simple Fractions, and Mixed Fractions. Para sa ating introduction, para mas madaling yung maintindihan, pagkatapos ng inyong module na ito, ina-expect na kayo ay makakapag-multiply ng Simple Fraction and Mixed Fraction. Simple lang ito. Kailangan nyo lang i-multiply ang fraction na parang nag-multiply kayo ng mga numero. To multiply fraction, kailangan i-multiply ninyo ang numerator at katapos i-multiply nyo rin ang denominators ng fractions. Kung ang product na inyong makukuha ay improper fraction, kailangan nyo i-simplify o reduce sa long term. Halimbawa, i-multiply nyo ang 1 fourth sa 3 fifths Multiply nyo lang yung numerator na 1 na 3, that is 3, denominators na 4 and 5, and that is 20, and you have an answer, 3 twentieths. 2 fifths times 1 third, times ulit ang numerator, denominator 5 and 3, that is 15, you have 2 fifths. Ito pang halimbawa, 1 four times 3 sevenths, same process, 1 times 3 is equal to 3, 4 times 7, 28, 5 twelfths times 1 third, that is 5, 12 times 3, that is 36. Another example, 1 fifth times 5 elevenths, 1 times 5 is 5, 5 times 11, 55. That is 5 55. In this case, tayo ay mag-lowest term. So, makikita nyo yung 5 and 55. Meron silang number na sila ay divisible sa parehong number. At yun ay 5. So, yung numerator natin, i-divide natin by 5. Same as with the denominator na i-divide natin sa 5. So, 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1. And 55 divided by 5 is equal to 11. And we got an answer, 1 11. Ngayon, hitting na naman ninyo ang inyong module. Magsasagot na kayo ng inyong learning task 1. Para sa panuto, you have to multiply the given fractions. Number 1, 3 fourths times 1 half. Number 2, 1 fifth times 3 sevenths. Number 3, 8 elevenths times 7 ninths. Number 4, 5 thirteenths times 6 sevenths. And number 5, 8 seventeenths times 4 fifths. Kung hindi maalala o medyo malabo pa kung paano nyo ito ikagawin, balikan muli ang paliwanag o proseso ng pagmultiply ng fractions. Let us proceed now to development. Sa parting ito, nagkami tayo ng cancellation method. This is a method that can be applied before multiplying the fraction so that the product is already in its lowest term. You can apply cancellation if there is a common factor in the numerator and the denominator. So para mas maitindihan nyo kung ano ang cancellation method, panoorin ninyo ang ilang halimbawa. 4 fifths times 10 elevenths. So, kakancel natin yung 10 at 5 since sila ay merong number na divisible pareho sila. Ito ay divisible by 5. So, yung 10, hindi divide by 5, which is 2, and 5 divide by 5, 1. So, ang ating fraction na ngayon ay 4 over 1 times 2 11. Then, same process yung nauna natin kanina sa video. Yung numerator natin, ito times natin, 4 times 2 is 8, and 1 times 11, 11. And we have an answer, 8 11. Sa panghalimbawa, 5 8 times 2 9. Cancel 2 and 8, para ko silang pwede divide natin sa 2. So, 2 divided by 2 ay 1, 8 divided by 2 ay 4. So, ang ating fraction ay 5 fourths times 1 9 times natin yung narrator, 5 times 1 is 5, and 4 times 9 is 36. 
So we have an answer 536. Another example, 16 24 times 3 fourths. Cancel lang 16 and 4. Divisible sila sa number na 4. 16 divided by 4 is 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1. Meron po pa tayong pwede i-cancel? Yes, meron pa. Yung 3 at yung 24. I-divide natin ito sa parehong 3. 3 divided by 3 ay 1. 24 divided by 3 ay 8. So, ang number natin ay 4 eighths times 1 over 1. Times natin ang numerator. 4 times 1 is 4 and 8 times 1 is 8. So, mapapansin nyo yung 4 eighths, pwede pa natin siyang simplify or reduce to lowest term. So, i-divide natin ito by 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1. And 8 divided by 4 is 2. So, we have an answer, 1 half. Ngayon yung nasa learning task 2 ka niya. Multiply the given fractions. Use cancellation method. Number 1, 4 fifths times 10 elevenths. Number 2, 7 ninths times 18 twenty fifths. Number 3, 8 fifteenths times 9 twenty fourths. Number 4, 9 sixteenths times 6 ninths. And number 5, 8 twenty fifths times 8 twenty sevenths. We are now on engagement. Aside from multiplying fraction by another fraction, we can also perform the following type. Number 1, multiplication of fraction by a whole number and vice versa. Number 2, multiplication of fraction by a mixed number and vice versa. Number 3, multiplication of whole number by a mixed number. And number 4, multiplication of mixed number by another mixed number. So, ipaliwala lang natin ito isa-isa para inyong dubos na makunawaan. Multiplication of fraction by a whole number and vice versa. Example number 1. Ang ita times natin ay 3 fifths times 8. Kukopyain lang natin yung 3 fifths times yung ating whole number, lalagyan lang natin ang denominator na 1. At pwede na tayong magmultiply. 3 times 8 is 24. 5 times 1 is 5. So, our answer is 24 fifths. Or, pwede natin itong isimplify, which is 4, 4 fifths. Example number 2, 9 times 3 sevenths. Since ang ating whole number dito ay 9, lalagyan natin ang denominator na 1, then copy the 3 sevenths, which is our fraction, at pwede na ulit tayo mag-multiply. 9 times 3 is 27, 1 times 7 is 7. Or, our answer could be 3 and 6 sevenths. Multiplication of fraction by a mixed number and vice versa. Example number 1. 2 thirds times 5 3 fourths is equal to 2 thirds times 23 fourths. So, saan ang galing? Bakit naging 23? So, ang kailangan nyo lang gawin, children, ay yung 4, which is your denominator, ita times nyo lang sa 5, na kung number ninyo, at ipa-plus ninyo sa 3. Then, you'll get 23 fourths. Then, pwede na nyo yung i-multiply. Cancel muna using cancellation method since divisible by 2, yung numerator na 2 at dinamito na 4. So, 2 divided by 2 is 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Then, 23, 6 is your answer. Or, 3 and 5, 6. So, para mas madali uling maintindihan, let's have another example. 4 and 3 sevenths times 2 nines. Is equal to, so again, yung mixed number ninyo, gagawin yung improper fraction. 7 times 4 plus 3, which is 31 7 times 2 ninths, then you'll have 62 63. Number 3, multiplication of whole number by a mixed number. Example number 1, 10 times 5 and 3 fourths. 
is equal to 10 over 1. So, yung whole number, lalagyan niyo ulit ng denominator na 1. As you can see, your mixed number, ang gagawin niyo dito ay yun yung muling itong gagawing improper fraction. So, ang gagawin na yung 4, ita times muli sa whole number. Then, ipa-plus ninyo sa inyong numerator and you'll have 23 4. Then, meron ba tayong pwedeng i-cancel? Meron. Kakancel natin yung 10 at yung 4. Both numbers have divisible number of 2. So, you have to divide it by 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Then, pwede na kayo mag-multiply. 5 times 23 is 115. Then, 1 times 2 is equal to 2. Then, you can also have the answer of 57 and 1 half. For example number 2, 6 times 2 and 1 third. So, in 6, we'll be having a denominator of 1. Your mixed number will be improper fraction, which is 7 third. Cancel 6, cancel 3, divisible sa 3. Then, 6 divided by 3 is 2, then 3 divided by 3 is 1. So, 2 times 7 is 14, then 1 times 1 is 1, so you have the answer 14 over 1 or just 14. Number 4. Multiplication of mixed number by another mixed number. Example number 1. 10 and 1 half times 2 and 4 fifths. So, since para sila mixed number, yung both numbers gagawin nyo in proper fraction times yung 2 sa 10 at ipa-plus sa 1. Then you'll have 21 2 or 21 halves times yung 5 ita times sa 2 at ipa-plus yung sa 4. Then you'll have 14 5. Then you can cancel numbers that are possible to cancel which is 14 and 2. So divide yung sa 2 that is 7 and 1. Then multiply, you have 147 fifths or 29 and 2 fifths. Example number 2. 6 and 1 fourth times 4 and 4 fifths. So it's the same process. 4 times 6 plus 1, which is 25 fourth. 5 times 4 plus 4, and that is 24 fifths. So, pwede tayong mag-cancel ng 25 and 5, and you'll have 5 and 1, and you can also cancel 24 and 4, and that will be 6 and 1. So, 5 times 6 is 30, then 1 times 1 is 1, and you'll have the answer of 30 over 1 or 30. You are now on your learning task 3. Multiply the given fraction. Write your solutions on your notebook. For number 1, 6 times 5 over 12. Number 2, 7 over 8 times 24. Number 3, 4 ninths times 27 times 1 half. Number 4, 8 and 2 fifths times 18 and 1 third. And for number 5, 6 times 2 thirds times two and a half. For our simulation, aside from the symbol X, we can also use that or parenthesis to indicate multiplication. Also, phrases such as times, the product of, multiplied by, and of can be used to in multiplication. Instead of three fourths times one half, it could be written in any of the following. The first one is the use of dot, one half dot three fourths. So you just have to multiply the one half and the three fourths. The second one is the use of parentheses. So you also have to multiply the one half and three fourths. Then the third one is the use of the symbol x. The fourth one is the use of phrase, the product of one half and three fourths. Another one is one half multiplied by three fourths. And the last one is the use of, of one half of three fourths. You are now on your learning task form. Multiply each of the following. 
use cancellation method if possible. Write your answer on your answer sheet. For number one, one half times three fourths. Number two, four fifths times ten elevenths. Number three, eight three fourths multiplied by two ninths. And number four, four fifths times ten elevenths times seven eighths. Congratulations! Great job, kids!